What do you know about horror stories? Today we're going to tell you five real life horror stories that played out online. Hello, before you start, like this video, subscribe and share it with all your friends. Since the invention of internet, pictures and movies of strange and terrifying things have been going up online. Killers have posted their thoughts for everyone to see, and the world has been able to watch through horror stories play out in real time, right on their computer screen. We will start with number 5. Hotel Zaza's Room 322 A Reddit user called Joke Like Music or Joe Like Music posted a seemingly anonymous question on Houston subreddit. He and some colleagues and stayed had stayed at the Hotel Zaza, he explained, and after seeing his college room was different from his. He wanted to know what's up with room 322. Room 322 was beyond strange. In another in another otherwise in otherwise risky hotel. This room had a hard concert floor and its bed had chain. The walls were decorated with skulls and ears, things of masters, different people, one show two twin girls with grief-like necks, conjoined by the hair, and then, in the midst of the shoes, there was a stringly announcement for a photographer of smiling mid-aged man, Stanford Financial Group President J. Camus. Most troubling of all, the room was small, on third the side of a normal room. The rest of the room was blocked off by a brick wall with what appeared to be one way mirror. On other two birds of the room, it seemed, were on other side of the wall, a place where people could peer in and watch whatever in what it was that happened in room 322. One joyous college asked the staff about his room. He was taught it was mean to be both and was quickly moved into another. Hotel Zaza changed their tone. However, when the story went viral, now they insisted that this was one of their dear room's cookie themes, modeled after a jail cell. Their other team or fam rooms, though or though, were Willixer Place with challenges and coaches. Room 322 was the only one with skulls and concerned floor. And why was Jacob looking over it all? A reporter asked the hotel. Their staff, he said, sounded nervous and would only reply, I need to look into the other bed further. Number 4. Lake City Quiet Pills. In 2009, a strange post showed up on Reddit. It was illegally from a user called the Religion of Peace, Religion of Peace, posted by a friend who wrote, he died at his desk login at your side. The poster called Two sex had never been on the side before, but he explained, as if everyone would know what is it mean. That was the present who provided religion of peace, the space for the old guys or guys image host. When people looked into the old guys, guys image host, 
they found a porn website registered with a strange domain name of lakecityquietpills.com. It was a weird name for a porn site, but when people started looking at the website's code, they realized it was something else altogether. Adding in the code of the website were ads for a strange, long, overseas jobs made five fluent Portuguese. Once I had six months private, people started making connections. There was an emotional plant in Lake on Lake City, Lava. Some realized which made mean that a quiet pill was a build. And they started finding hints to back that up. In these posts, religion of peace was only knowledgeable about the difficulties involved in killing someone with piano wear. And his LOD's friend 2.6 had posted another side, Fark, that he dispensed Lake City Quiet Pills to people in need of permanent rest. Number 3. Sad Satan. Someone found a strange video game called Sand Satan. It had been put up anonymously, and it was a strange, creepy game. But this was something more than just an eerie survival horror game. For the most part of this game, the whole game was just senseless, senseless wondering, but strange things kept popping up. Children would, would walk through the mass and strange pictures would flash up one. For example, showing Jimmy Savile, a notorious, pitiful and sexual predator. At one point, a Charles Manson speech played, telling the users, if I started murdering people, heard be none of you left. Here the game became popular when a YouTube user showed it. But according to one for Chan users, the version of on YouTube hides the truth of the game. Don't believe the covert. The user wrote, he did not show you what truly in this game. Nobody knows for sure who made the game or why it exists. Some say the game was just a hoax made for YouTube hits and others say it's part of child pornography conspiracy, whatever it did, though it's deeply unsettling. Number 2. Mr. Anim Mr. Anim was Tree Sizzler, a YouTuber, YouTube reviewer with thousands of subscribers who would share his thoughts on Anim, video games, and more and more. As time went on, Gans. His show started off normal enough, but as it went on, signs of madness started slipping through the crack of his mind. He stopped talking about Anim and started talking about Gans and serial killers instead. Joking in no one that he was the guy that does all the gun stuff now. The least. The last video he posted was early titled Mr. Anim is planning something. In it, he said he would be taking a break, but assured his viewers everything is going really good. He never explained what it was he was playing in the video, but his viewers soon found all found out on the news. Shortly afterward, Sisler killed his mother, or killed his mother, father, and brother. He scrolled a message on, on the wall reading, Why did I do this? I love my mom, dad, and brother. A manhunt began, and the police found him heavily armed in his car, driving to Waller Junior High School. Sisler had planned on shooting up the school 
If he hadn't been God, he'd been, he would plan on killing at least 70 people before ending his own life. Move to number one, the B serial killer. In 2015, another anonymous user on 4chan put up two pictures, one a glamour hood shoot of a young woman and the other her dead body lying in bed i have killed several women or women for pleasure he wrote if you can guess a name i will upload a picture if you guess all of names i will show you where i dumped a body in 1999 people started guessing as many women's name as they could and true to his word the user added more and more grow some photo photographers or photographs of dead women the picture he had didn't show up anywhere anywhere else on the internet and they didn't quite look like the photos a police officer would take at a crime scene would take when people started looking into it they found GPS coordinates coded into the pictures that put the user in Carlin, Nevada. And they found out that the first woman was shown Miranda, a woman who went missing in Las Vegas and has never been found. The police and FBI thought won't explain why, or though won't explain why they don't believe it and not everyone's convinced that it's a lie. After all, as one user pointed out, it's not the first time a killer has been on B. Thank you for watching. So please subscribe, like this video, and share it with all your friends. Also, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. See you next episode. Goodbye.